I know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game and it's free. Click the link down there, you got it. DreAllDay.com What's going on everybody? Dre Baldwin with DreAllDay.com Welcome to the Weekly Motivation. Every single Monday for the past six plus years. So if it's your first time watching Weekly Motivation, please leave me a comment and let me know who you are. And if it's your 500th time watching, we need to do 500, 300 time watching, let me know also. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. And today we are talking about, it's not always going to be your time. The spotlight is not always going to be shining on you. The attention will not always be on you. People are not always going to be talking about, looking at, celebrating you, even when you think they should be. Even when you think they should be. There will be times when someone on your team, whether that's a business team, your family as a team, your relationship as a team, your sport as a team, there's going to be someone on your team who maybe doesn't have the game you have. They don't have the resume you have. They don't put in the work that you put in. But for whatever reason, something happens, they're going to be getting more attention than you. More people are going to be looking at them saying, wow, he's great. Wow, she's great. Damn, he's the man. Damn, she's the hottest one out there. And you're going to be thinking to yourself, maybe hopefully you just keep this to yourself. Like, yo, I'm better than her. I'm, I look better than him. I got better stats than this dude. I, I work harder than these people over here. But they getting all the attention. I'm not getting the attention. Listen, it's going to happen in life, people. You got to accept that this is going to happen sometimes in life where there's be, there will be someone who you will feel they are undeserved of the attention that they are getting, which is way more than yours at that moment. It's going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why it happens. One reason why it happens is because people can't pay attention to the same thing over and over for so long without getting bored and saying, okay, just give us something different. Kind of like, think someone like Michael Jordan. He was playing in the NBA. He was clearly the best player, but there were a couple years he didn't win the MVP trophy, not because he wasn't the most valuable player, because, man, they kept winning the championship. They were the best team in the league. I mean, how could he not be the most valuable player? They gave it to Barkley one year. Then it was in one year, Karl Malone got the MVP trophy. And then Jordan went and beat these guys in the NBA Finals after they did after they got the trophy over him. Because people just got bored of looking at Michael Jordan and saying, man, look how great Michael Jordan is. I mean, it, it became boring for him to be so great. And I mean boring in a relative sense. Like, so boring that they didn't vote him for MVP, but he still went and won the championship. You understand? But Michael Jordan, he's he did the same thing that y'all need to do. This is what you do. When you see someone who is not as deserving as you of the attention, getting the attention. You got to bide your time. Understand that people are going to turn their attention away from you at times, especially if you're consistently performing at a high level. They're not going to pay attention to you all the time because even greatness gets boring. Okay, Watching somebody who's just super at what they do, it gets boring. Like, damn, this person always doing so great. They want to see you mess up. They want to see you fall sometime to make it get them a little bit of variety. Human beings need variety. Bide your time. Keep working. Stay disciplined, stay focused on your tasks, and when the time comes, that attention is going to come right back around to you. Everything goes around in a circle in life. It's a circle of life, the circle of success, the planet rotates around, and the planet itself is a circle. The planet rotates around in a circle. It's not a perfect circle, but around in a circle. Everything is a circle. So it's going to come back around to you. You just need to make sure you keep working so that you are ready when it comes when that attention comes back around so that they can fixate on you again because they will. They will come back around. I know the law of karma, whatever goes up must come down. Whatever goes out must come back. Everything goes, it rotates. You understand? It's all this is all universal law stuff. Okay, you I'm not into uh, what's the, I'm not into any occults or I don't claim any religion either, but this is all universal law. You don't have to claim one to understand this. It all makes sense. It's logical stuff. So when that attention comes back around to you, if you've been working, then you're going to be ready to Michael Jordan kick Charles Barkley's ass in the NBA Finals. Michael Jordan kick Karl Malone's ass in the NBA Finals after they got the MVP over Jordan. You be ready when the attention comes back around because it will come back around. The question is, are you going to be worthy of holding you again? And learn more how to keep your mind disciplined, focused, and confident even when it's not you just being paid attention to. Bulletproof Mindset Course, 12 modules, the deepest dive into mental toughness, confidence, and discipline ever put together. Facts. Work on your game, you.com slash bulletproof. Get your name on that waiting list or register if we got it open right now. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Hey, witness on the beat.